All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak with us. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shia Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing the pushing work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? The title of this video is Our Mindset When uh, Shit Hits the Fan. Okay? Mindset <clears throat> is. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. A, fi a fixed mental attitude or disposition that predetermines a person's responses to and interpretations of situations. Okay? So, our attitude, okay, is, it starts right now. We're preparing ourselves for when uh, things uh, get uh, real out here in America. Okay? Which is going to be uh, extremely real. Okay, not only in America, but throughout the whole entire world. Okay, because we're in the um, end days. Okay, the end of uh, Esau's uh, reign. Okay, and the scripture says that uh, because you have a short time, okay, you come down with, with great wrath. Okay, but our, it says, mindset, okay, a fixed mental attitude or disposition that predetermines a person's responses to. Okay, so, so your mindset right now. Okay, especially when when things get real here in America. Okay, the, it's going to predetermine how you respond. Okay, to to the situations that are going to come. Okay, in the near future. Okay, it could be this year, it could be next year, it could be five years from now. Okay, but when shit hit the fan, and what I'm talking about, okay, is 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 uh, pestilences, which is diseases. Okay, martial law. Okay, um, uh, Jacob's trouble, man. A lot of a lot of people keep getting killed out here. Okay, um, <clears throat> you got the the mark of the beast, which is, which is the RFID chip. Okay, which it it, it goes into um, the the so called new world order that the so called white man is is trying to establish. Okay, which their their names are Edomites according to the Bible. Okay, they're trying to establish here on this earth. Okay, but the elect is gonna gonna have a, which the elect is God's chosen people. Okay, of Israel that are gonna have a specific mindset. Okay, for when things get real out here. Okay, now the term uh, "shit hits the fan." Okay, I looked that up, and I'm gonna get some scriptures. Okay, to point the point at which the shit hits the fan. Is the point at which an already unstable situar situation, right? Which you can see like the, the the race wars, okay? The cops killing a lot of people, okay? Out here in Baltimore, you got a lot of um, <clears throat> a lot of killings out here, okay? It's it's already an unstable uh situation. The 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 money, okay? The dollar bill is going to collapse, okay? It's an unstable situation, and it says devolves into utter chaos. Okay, so when that dollar bill collapses, okay, it's going to be a lot of chaos, okay? If if an EMP was to happen, okay, or, or a power grid was to go down, okay, it's going to be a lot of chaos, okay? It says, often in spite of or even due to a higher authority's attempt to control it, okay? <clears throat> So guess what? Dollar bill collapses. A lot of people go into these stores. They rob people. Okay, or or or, or uh, cops continue to kill people. Okay, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of Jake go out and, and uh you know uh riot and stuff like that. Okay, due to the the, the violence. Okay, that that is going to be here in the, in America. Okay, and guess what? The higher authorities, the government, are going to try to control. The situations that 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 uh comes to pass okay this is an example it says but what happens if the cops try to suppress the pro the protest well then shit hits the fan a full-scale riot exactly okay and that's what's going going to happen out here but the mindset of the elect is going to be totally different than going out here rioting like a lot of people okay because you got people that, that actually think that they could go ahead and take this the, the so-called white man down by themselves, man. Okay? 
um, continuing on, this is Colossians 3 and 2. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Okay? So this is the mindset. That <clears throat> Once again, the scriptures say where, where your, 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 your mind is, okay? That's where, where, where your heart is. That's where your, uh, your treasure is. Okay? So a man of the Lord, if your treasure is, is in, okay, the kingdom, which is of your house by seeing your outside, then that's where your mindset is going to be at. Okay? But a lot of people out here on this, this earth, okay, their mindset is not on Yahweh by Shemya Osa. Okay? And there are a lot of other technicalities that, that comes down with um, the things of this earth. Okay? Like if if um, if a person um, doesn't have food in his refrigerator, okay, then when shit get real, they, they, they lose their integrity. Okay? Because they, they, they don't know what's, what, what's to come. They lost sight of that or they never had the, the, the sight. Okay, it says, for you are dead and your life is hid with Yahweh, Yahweh Shah and Yahweh. Okay, continuing on, Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Okay, so if a, if an attack was to happen here in America, okay, when that attack happened, that's going to put the elect in an even stronger mindset, okay, than they than, than, than they have right now, okay? They they're gonna know, okay? Boom! Uh, attack happened. We in we in the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? Hey, man! All I gotta do is just not as, not as, not 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 take this chip, okay? And continue to, to to wait on the Lord, okay? And I know that that, that for a certain man that 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 I'm a I'm a man of the Lord, man. If I if I do those things, man. Okay, if I adore until the end, the very end, man. Okay, but the the men of the Lord, they're gonna renew their strength. Okay, that 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 attack that happens, that's gonna put them in a in an even stronger mindset. Okay, like fuck this society, man. We 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 know what's what's going on, man. Okay, it says like like the, when the um when the the the, the false missile attack. Happened in um in uh uh Hawaii, and you seen the the the, the brother out there. He he had a, a a spirit on him, you know. That was like fuck this society, man. Like you know, fuck. And you you could tell that that you know he he was you know, you know like his strength was was there, man. Okay, he got to you know continue on to the end, just like we all do, you know. But that that example right there of of when that attack. Uh, what it was called okay that false attack missile was called that brother had a strong spirit on him like fuck it man I want this society to go down man and that's how the, the elect is gonna be okay it says they so mount up with wings as eagles they so run and not be worried okay so so that mindset man okay running you ain't gonna be tired when you getting run when you if you getting chased down it says and they so walk and not faint Okay, the first off, this ain't no, oh, am I going to have food? Because the scriptures say don't worry about whether you have food or not. Okay? You see a lot of these movies where where, where uh, during end times cer certain things start happening, the, the main character just, they don't be having uh, plans on what they be doing. But guess what? They they, they just do stuff. And that's that's how the elect is going to be doing, man. They just going to be doing stuff. They, they're going to know... Okay, I'm not gonna go out here and go do some some wicked shit. Okay, and the scriptures going to that, but they're gonna know. Hey, I'm not gonna go out here and go go do some nigger shit. Okay, and be wicked, but they just gonna be doing stuff, and the Lord just gonna put that spirit on them. Okay, uh, Psalms 125 and three. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Okay, so when this hell come up come out okay and, and shit hits the fan okay the things that are going to go out here on this world okay when the, when the so-called white man even starts putting his his mind to to to, to start uh touching the the left okay that's not going that's not going to last that long okay it says lest the righteous put forth their hands and unto iniquity 
okay? So so it's not going to go on that long, okay? You're not going to have no fucking 20-year uh, time of Jacob's trouble to the point where, where the elect going to end up losing their faith, man, okay? The, 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 the times that that's going to come is going to be like, you know, he's just going to be doing stuff, man, okay? But we the, the elect... Okay, I'm not gonna be going out here and, and, and doing some uh some wicked shit, you know? Like you got people out here that 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 probably wanna go uh you know rob a store to get get some weed or some some dumb shit or to go get some Jordans or some dumb shit, man. You know? The elect know that hey fuck that shit. You know you're gonna have some people out here that like I said, they're gonna go try to go fight the so called white man. That ain't gonna last long, man. Okay? They don't got no no plan. They don't got no government, okay? You, you talking about people that, that took down the Native Americans, and the Native Americans knew this land, man. Okay, now don't the so-called white man know this land? Don't they got cameras and all that stuff set up? Okay? It's Psalms 1, 91 and 14. Because he has set his love upon me, okay, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. And guess what? The scripture says that the name of the Lord, okay, this is what it says, okay, Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it and is safe, okay, so the mindset, okay, that the men of the Lord is going to have, okay, is to run towards that name of Yahweh by Shem That's That's what's going to get us through those times, man, okay? The fact that, that the Lord, okay, he sees that his men, okay, love him, okay, and, and, and they know his name and they're professing his name onto the world, okay? When that when when things get 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 real out here, the, the righteous are gonna run into to to that tower, man, and they're gonna be safe. Cause guess what? It says he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. Okay, so so, hey, even even throughout all that trouble, man, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is still gonna be with us. Okay, the, then then the Lord Yahweh Shai himself say, you know I'm with you even unto the end of the world. Okay, so the Lord is still gonna be with you, man. Okay, and you ain't gonna have to worry about nothing. Okay, and, and guess what, the Lord is gonna deliver you. Okay, all you gotta do, hey, survive that. That that hour of temptation, okay, which that goes into this scripture, uh, James one and twelve. Blessed is the man that endures temptation, because there's going to be a lot of temptation out here during that time. Okay, and temptation is the one of doing something wrong, or or doing something unwise. Okay, for when he is tried, okay, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Okay, and what that that crown of life is this Psalms one ninety one and sixteen. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Okay? And that's imagine that feeling when the elect, okay, is, is in them chariots, man. Okay? During those times. Okay? Looking down after you done escaped the, the time of, of Jacob's trouble. Okay? That's going to be a beautiful feeling. Okay? <clears throat> Isaiah 33 and uh, 14. The sinners of Zion are afraid. Fearless, I mean, fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Okay, because when shit get real out here, man, a lot of these people that are sinners, they gonna that 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 act like they tough guys. Okay, they gonna you gonna have men out here actually screaming like women, man. Okay, actually screaming like females. Okay, it says, "Who among us shall dwell with the the devouring fire?" Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? And that's what, what, hey, you got a lot of people out here, they actually going to be thinking that they they, they can uh, prolong their life in this society, man. Okay? They don't understand that that <clears throat> even though the, the time of Jacob's trouble is going to be, you know, real hectic, that the end the end game is, is this place being destroyed, man. And a lot of people going to be really running out here like, like, like they're going to be able to live forever in this society, man. Okay, it says, He that walks righteously and speaks uprightly, 
He that despises the gain of oppressions, that shakes his hands from holding of bribes, that stops his ears from hearing of blood, right? Which This is what a lot of people out here that are sinners are not doing, okay? It says, and shuts his eyes from seeing evil, he shall dwell on high, his place of defense shall be the muni munitions of rocks, bread shall be given him, his water shall be sure. So when, when those times uh, get real out here, okay, the Lord is going to provide, man, okay? Don't worry about how, how things is going, going to go, man, okay? Just just have that faith in y'all by seeing y'all side because this word is the truth, man, okay? It says bread shall be given unto him and his water shall be sore. So you ain't got to worry about what whether you're going to be eating or, or, or drinking, man, okay? Uh, continuing on, this is uh, Psalms 18 and 3. I will call upon the, the Lord, okay, Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies, okay? And the last enemy that's going to be destroyed is death, okay? It says, the sorrows of death come past me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The, the sorrows of hell come past me about, the snares of death prevented me, and my distress I called upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, and cried unto my power, okay? Because that's what, that's what it's all about, man, where we get our power from, man, okay? It says, he heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. Okay. So so we know, okay, that the Lord is going to send down them missiles, man. Okay, and them chariots are going to come and they're going, they're going to deliver the elect. Okay, it says, he bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. And he rode on a, a syrup and did fly. Yeah, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. Okay, so when the Lord comes back, Okay, them missiles gonna be, be getting shot down, man. Okay? He's gonna rain fire upon upon his enemies, man. Okay, it says the Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yeah, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Okay, so all our enemies are gonna be discomfited. Okay, it says, then the channels of water were seen, and the foundations of earth were discovered at your rebuke, O Yahabashim Yahusai, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. Okay, you're going to have um, um, tidal waves, okay? Tsunamis and stuff like that that are, that are going to be happening, man. Earthquakes, okay? You might have to survive an earthquake, okay? It says, he sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters, Right? This is the elect, okay, getting saved from out of America. Okay, it says, He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. Okay, it's nothing that we can do right now to, to take down these people, man. Okay, to take down Esau. Okay, it says, They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. Okay, when, when shit get real out here, the, the elect are gonna, gonna, gonna be firmly, I mean, planted in Yahweh by Simeon side says, he brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me for knowing him and teaching his word. Okay, it says, the Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, have he recompensed me. Okay, and what, what's the cleanness of our hands? Or how are we cleaning our hands? By going out here and telling our people that y'all 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 are going off, okay, that uh, uh, you need to you need to, to repent, okay? We're telling y'all the, the the name of the Lord. We we're telling y'all that the, the the sword is coming, okay? And we're we're blowing the trumpet. We're warning all the people, okay? We're not we're not holding back, 
okay? And 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 and, and, and uh, we we trying to just warn y'all, man, okay? Cause cause it's not gonna be us that's out here uh uh actually doing the um the 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 uh sending missiles and stuff like that. It's, you know the Lord gonna put the spirit on on the, the the other people. But if if we wasn't doing what we was what we was told to do, then our hands will be dirty, man. Okay, it says, for I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my, my power. Okay, for all his judgments were before me and I did not put away his statutes from me. Okay, so when shit get real out here, okay, the, the, the Lord's judgments, okay, you, you might be in a situation where uh, 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 you might have to put somebody to death. Okay, and that's just the Lord's judgment. Or you might see somebody that, that end up getting put to death. Okay? That's just the Lord's judgments. Because, because those people are, are wicked. Okay? But we're not going to go out here, you know, murdering people and, and doing some, some straight up, you know, wicked shit. Okay? Our mindset is going to be hey, enduring until the end. Lord willing, I'm of the elect. Okay? And, 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 uh, Getting the hell up out of here, man. Okay? Having faith in y'all, but see y'all side that it deliver us throughout whatever comes our way. Okay? Um, it says, I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Okay? From going off. Okay? This is the last scripture. Romans 8 and 28. And we and we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. Okay, so if you love the Lord, all the whether you end up having to die for this truth, okay, it's all going to work for the good because the Lord going to reward us. It says to them who are called according to His purpose. Okay, so the ones who are called, okay, the the the, the elect, okay, those chosen people. Okay, things are going to work out good for them. They're not going to have to worry. Okay. So with that, man, I want to say Shalom.